Hey guys, and welcome back to Pikmin. When we last left off, we, Captain Olimar, had crash-landed on this unforgiving and brutal planet. Our ship was smashed and totally destroyed. So essentially we had no way to get back home, and unfortunately this planet is uh, completely toxic to us. So in 29 days we shall die, but as luck would have it, we found ourselves some indigenous creatures called Pikmin, who appear to be uh, fairly subservient and appear to be intent on helping us save our ship and get back home. So let's continue. We completed the first day at the impact site and managed to find the engine which allowed our ship to launch back into the atmosphere. Now. Let's try a new area, shall we? The Forest of Hope. Let's go. If I move my Spyro out the way, who's patiently holding my phone, I can actually see my capture window better. Ah, oh, the music here. My favorite music in the game. Oh, I listen to that. So wonderfully calming. My dolphin has returned to the surface, along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and push A. Indeed, now we can choose how many Pikmin we want to take out. We can only have 100 out on the field at once, but as we only have 25, we're going to get all of these guys out. Come on, boys. Let's go to work. It's bright and early on this fantastic morning. Let's harvest up these plants. Now notice how this is a yellow pellet. So our red Pikmin can harvest them, but they shall only get one instead of the uh, extra Pikmin that we'd get if it was a red pellet. Now, see this grass here? This grass is important because we can get our Pikmin to pluck the grass and uh, produce nectar. Nectar will power our Pikmin up. And they can uh, grow to bulbs and flowers. Right, let's wait for this guy to sprout. Come on, boy. There we go. Right, feed, my beauties, feed. Now, sometimes you can harvest this grass. There we are, there's nectar. And find no nectar in it, which sucks. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this del delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and particularities of this new flower Pikmin. So, it's fairly obvious. Oh, more nectar there. Get in there, boys! That was a waste. I didn't actually see that nectar coming out. One Pikmin will drink the whole bloody lot by himself, which is a huge waste. Come on, let's get some more nectar. There we go. Nice. Now, with powered up Pikmin, they are much, much faster and much stronger. So it's always worth trying to power these guys up. Let's get them to work on that gate. Now that gate we can smash down. There are two varieties of gates. There's smashable gates and there are rock gates. Rock gates we need to get something before we can open them. These kind of, uh, I don't know, like twig gates I suppose or something. These can just be knocked down and all that takes is time. And there are two varieties of gates. Uh, there are light gates like these, They're more of a kind of grey light grey colour and there are dark grey gates. Dark grey gates are exactly the same they're just much stronger and much harder to break down. That's the stuff boys almost there. As I say once these gates are removed they're removed for good. Not bad boys not bad. Alright let's gather our soldiers and ready for combat. So we have bulb orbs here. These are baby bulb orbs. These things are not too much to worry about. We can swarm them with our boys and annihilate the bastards. Now wildlife does repopulate on this planet. Oh they take three to take don't they? Yeah. 
uh, every day. I'm not really sure how the ecosystem works. We're going to spend a little bit of time just uh, building up our Pikmin numbers. Because we're going to want a lot of these guys. Don't bother with that. Now, it's no secret that there's more than one variety of Pikmin. But these are the reds. Reds are really useful for a number of reasons. They're useful because uh, they're your fighters. They're the most powerful, the strongest Pikmin. They do the most damage in combat. And they uh, are also totally immune to fire, which is really freaking useful. Right, let's get all these guys harvested. We need as many men as we can get here. We do need to grow our numbers, but we'll handle that. Today is going to be spent mainly opening this area up and getting a few little toys back to the dolphin. Is that all of you boys? One left. Cool. So what have we got? We've got 44 soldiers in the field. That'll do for now. But you can see just how much faster the flowers are compared to the uh, the uh, leaf pigment that. Alright, there we go. Let's go kill these guys. Yeah, we didn't actually lose any men there. Good, good. Now this is an adult bulb orb. These guys are a lot stronger, but they're pretty lazy, and they're easy to sneak up on, like so. There we go. Annihilated. You can see we're actually losing some petals there, but that's okay. Right, let's get this big pellet back. There we go. And we can also take the corpses of our enemies back too, which is nice, because they can serve as souls. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to harvest the spoils of war and turn them into more soldier ants, so to speak. Or soldier Pikmin. Same difference. Nice. Now we want to start making ways because we're almost halfway through the day, but look at all those souls. Fresh minions. That gives us 66. Let's see what we've got to work with here because we don't want. We don't want a hundred uh, red Pikmin. Because we need some spare slots, shall we say? Um, that gives us. How many do we actually have here? That gives us 44. Let's go with 50. Right, let's pluck you, you, you. Let's get six more. That's five. Let's get another one. We'll leave these other ones in the ground. All right, we get seven. Suit yourself. 51. That'll do. Right, let's go. So we'll leave those guys in the ground. They will continue to grow as long as we don't pluck them. That's fine. Ah, look. Yes, yes. Interesting item there. Let's get these boys going. Now, sometimes, if you're lucky, a certain creature will appear there, which it has not. Right, let's break down that gate. Yeah, sometimes a certain creature will appear here. And it will carry nectar. But why? It's the eternal fuel dynamo. It has unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my... Uh, fight for survival a little bit easier. Yeah, that sounds like something that we could really use. Unlimited energy. Right, come on, boys. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So it's best for me to review my monitor's data. Yeah. Across the top of my monitor are the, uh, are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom is my spacesuit damage meter my pick, uh, and Pikmin gauges from left to right. These numbers reflect the Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the field and total Pikmin, including those in the onions. To adjust... Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, this one's going to take some time. Let's have a little uh, explore of this area, shall we? Now, we can go into the water. Um, now, unfortunately, red Pikmin cannot go into the water they will drown but we do have another part over here 
It would seem, yes. But we can't actually access that just yet. We've got some tadpole dudes here. Like baby wallywogs. These don't actually hurt uh, your dudes. So there's no real reason to even bother these things. Alright, let's go. It sounds like, yes, we have broken through. Not bad, man, not bad. Right, what have we got here? We've got a little baby motherfucker right there. Let's creep round him. See if we can attract him. Oi. Oi, dickhead. Damn, if only we... Ah, there we go. Right. There we go. He's done. He's done. Oh, fuck. Mother's up. Fuck. Run, boys. Run, boys. Run. We do want to try and save these guys. We don't want to lose any in combat if we don't have to. Right. Now, the good thing about these guys is they're pretty damn lazy as soon as we leave them up and ah, look at that there another onion as soon as we leave these guys they do go back to sleep which is great because then we can just bum rush them and utterly destroy them nice good work man good work right let's just spam these guys and go have a look at this one another onion a yellow onion very nice Mm, a yellow onion with one seed. Okay. All right, let's wait for that mother to grow. So we've got a... Uh, what have we got around here? Not much. I'll tell you what we can do. Whilst we're gathering up supplies, we can get you guys working away. And do we have enough? We need 40. Do we have 40 here? Or 12 more. Yeah, we've got 40 here. Right, go take that dynamo back. You know what? We'll keep you on us. Come with us. Come on, Bob. Let's go, Bob. Excellent. Now, let's go pick this guy. And with you, my yellow friend. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. But in what, uh, in what other ways might it be different from the red? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A, then swap it for another using B. Yes, yeah, so basically, if we have two types of Pikmin under our command, we can hold him one with A, and we can swap between them, which is quite nice, so... We're going to use this yellow guy. And we're going to start growing the yellow numbers. Now, yellow Pikmin can be thrown a hell of a lot further and higher than red Pikmin. They are weaker than red Pikmin, but they also have another ability, another useful ability. So there is our internal dynamo, internal fuel dynamo. This should light things up for me. No more candles. I have now recovered two of 30 parts. Yep, two of 30 parts. We still have a lot to do. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oi, 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 you've got, you've got enough, mate. All right, you go pick that. All right, you guys go harvest that. And I'm gonna go get the reds because we need our soldiers for the next part. We do wanna keep growing. Do we need them? Yeah, we need them. We kind of need them. Right. Let's get these boys. We now have 50 because Bob's still over there. That's fine. There's quite an important part that I want to try and get today. If we can. And that is arguably one of the most important parts in the game. Right. We are rapidly running out of time now. Let's leave our troops there. No. No. Can be annoying to control these guys, but that's okay. Now, I think a good number of yellows is probably about 50. That should last us the game, as long as nothing horrific happens. But let's be honest, something horrific probably will happen. Um, now, let's, let's get some more. And what we will do... Let's show off their other ability. Yes! So, these guys. The yellow pigment have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow pigment. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Bright glowing cracks cover them. 
Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Yeah, so these yellow Pikmin... These are our engineers, so to speak. Nope. Come on. Come on. Idiots. You guys come back. Now, these take three bombs to explode. Now, the advantage with this version of the game is the Pikmin will run away from explosive bomb rocks a lot uh, more often, whereas on the GameCube version, they were so easy to, to blow up uh, with their bomb rocks. They will literally stand next to a bomb rock and look at it. Uh, whereas this time, they have slightly more survival skills. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant when I throw bomb rocks carrying, uh, bomb rock carrying Pikmin and give them orders. They will toss their bomb rocks at nearby walls or obstacles. The explosive power of the bomb rocks is tremendous and I must keep my distance. Yes, yes, that is accurate. So three rocks to destroy one of these, which isn't too bad. As I said, we will come across... Um, we will come across uh, stronger walls later on. And they are significantly stronger. Let's try and get our dudes loaded up with bombs. Come on, boys. Now, if we're quick, we could still just about achieve this. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get these down. Nice. Alright, not bad. There we go. Right, let's get our soldiers ready. Old troops. Let's see what we've got through here. Now, this is rather deceiving. Because it looks like we've just got these baby bulb orbs. But in fact, there's actually a hell of a lot of uh, enemies here. And these things suck. And they really do a decent amount of damage. There we go. Right. Now, what I do want to achieve, my clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin are waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably uh, enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call up the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I, th but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Yes. So unfortunately, Pikmin left in the darkness are not in a very good position, to be honest. Right, we've got 25 dudes here. What I will do, because we don't quite have enough. Can we get can we get this sorted? Uh, okay, right, let's try and get this done. Uh, I want the yellow Pikmin to take these guys back. Nah, it's probably not going to happen. Alright, I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed the 100 Pikmin in the field, the onions stopped expelling seeds. Yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one uh, time in any area. Yep, so there's a hard cap of Pikmin. Um... Let's get those guys sorted. Right, we need to have all of these Pikmin on our side with us. Otherwise, they will die. Any Pikmin outside the range. I'm hoping that the Pikmin already made it back to base. Otherwise, they're all dead. Lel. The ones that were carrying all of that loot. We might actually have left um, quite a lot of Pikmin behind there. But it's okay, because we can always uh, get our numbers back up. So we didn't actually achieve many parts there, but we did open up quite a lot of areas, which is good. Now you can see the nocturnal predators coming back. 
Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can recover the parts, uh, just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. That would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to push uh, plus to locate my parts. Yet there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it and push A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left of the corner of the screen. Yep. So actually, we didn't leave any behind today, which is good. Uh, we did lose one in battle. I wouldn't have been Bob because Bob's, uh, Bob's one of the good ones. He knows what he's doing. But we didn't leave any behind, which is nice. So tomorrow, when we return back to the Forest of Hope, we should be in a good position to um, get loads of parts because we've opened a good couple of ways up and we have a good amount of red Pikmin. We've got 61 now. I do want to pump that up. They're still rookie numbers. But it's not bad to start with. 13 yellow Pikmin as well. We definitely need to get our yellow Pikmin in the, in the 50 population range because they're pretty useful. Um, but we'll we'll deal with that tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna save the game. Okay. So we know there's at least one part we can get here. We know there's another part that's blocked off with water. We can't do anything about that yet because our Pikmin drown in water, and Olimar can't carry parts on his own or uh, at all, actually. Um. So that's a bit of a conundrum. But hey, I'm sure we'll figure something out. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.